Uh, Mangalam, for that, Mayuresh Joshi is also with us from William O'Neill and Company. Mayuresh, anything that stands out for you from the auto pack? Post these numbers. Afternoon, Reema. So I think uh, what Mangalam was mentioning and the numbers that came through for the month of November, uh, a few stocks within uh, the space itself uh, are probably standing out at this point of time. Uh, Within the commercial vehicle pack, uh, Ashok Leyland is creating about key pivot levels as we track it. Uh, and our own sense is that the kind of um, activity uh, improvement that you probably see Q3 onwards uh, uh, and the kind of model and product launches that they've done, specifically in terms of tippers and the last mile connectivity, expectation in terms of passing through of prices as well because of increased input costs. Uh, I think the margin stability has probably got maintained as far as uh, Leyland's numbers are concerned. Uh, uh, market share, more or less, the very, very stable uh, across quarters as we see. So I think Ashok Leyland trading about key pivot levels and his assumptions of industrial activity improving with government capex uh, increasing multiple over the next few quarters should hold this stock in good stead. Uh, the other number that probably stood out was also escorts, as Mangalam pointed out. Uh, I think two things uh, standing out, um, again, in terms of the farm equipment or the tractor business, uh, the opportunities that come through in terms of the export markets, uh, in terms of the horsepower of tractors itself, uh, below 50 HP, I think there is the major dominance uh, that escorts have at this point of time. Decreasing acreage of uh, land that you probably see uh, affects uh, escorts to a large extent in this subsegment itself. Uh, and railways uh, with 900 crore order with better margins uh, and a healthy overall balance sheet probably ensures return revenue. And the EPS RS rating is extremely strong. Uh, m and the other one to probably watch out for, 3-4% from key pivot levels on the only lens. Uh, but I think uh, a good all-around show as we see it and the sum of parts in terms of their NBFC and the IT companies also add up to the overall valuation. All right. Hi, Mayuresh. Uh, afternoon. You know, Mayuresh, uh, we had the management of Monte Carlo yesterday who joined us. And they are talking about a 20-25% growth on the top line for this year. Margins are around 20%. Now, you were tracking the textile space as well. From there, what do you like? Uh, you know, we have a lot of weddings. We have the festive season. The mood is back as well. What's your pick from that space? Afternoon, Nigel. So absolutely, I think 30, 32 sack weddings that are probably uh, expected to go through over the next few months. Uh, and cotton prices have come off. So I think one of the more uh, important um, aspects for the entire uh, sub-segment uh, or the segment itself uh, was that cotton spreads had gone through the roof uh, three or four quarters uh, uh, back in time. But with cotton prices coming off, you're expected to see better spreads uh, coming through. Now, vertically integrated uh, companies within this space itself uh, can do exceptionally well, uh, is, is what I feel. Maybe I think uh, a quarter or two, maybe uh, I might, might see some amount of uh, margin miss. But with inventories coming off and with the newer inventories at lower prices, uh, vertically integrated players, uh, players like a Vardaman, players like a KPR Mill, as an example, uh, can over a period of time do well. Yes, they are lagging in terms of the only lens on the RS strength. Uh, but as that starts picking up, I think there can be significant traction there. Uh, on the Indian context itself, you're probably looking at a $100 billion uh, uh, market within, $1 billion market, sorry, Nigel, in the Indian context. And a large part of that is uh, controlled in terms of the apparel market and around 20% by technical textiles as well. I was hearing the Monte Carlo management. Uh, the second half is obviously expected to be relatively better. But I think companies uh, within these spaces, uh, as I mentioned, uh, with a relatively improving RS strength and vertically integrated, should command better margins, better realizations, uh, and with lower amount of debt onto their books, the leverage should meaningfully play out. Uh, it might take a couple of quarters, as I said, uh, but uh, stocks like Vardama and KPR can get. PSU banks are making a move higher. PNB, Bank of Baroda, pull them up for your new screen, and you would see some traction there. Stay on. Mayuresh, need to get into a break. We'll come back with the closing levels as well. Back. Uh, just four minutes to close. Mayuresh is with us. Mayuresh, uh, you know, look at names like uh, LNT Technology Services, uh, solid 9% gains uh, on very large volumes, by the way. You know, usually when we have these overnight rallies on NASDAQ, I mean, there is rub off, but not like this. This is uh, a pretty large move on a large name as well. Uh, any thoughts on this, uh, on, on this stock or 
the IT space? So generally, I think uh, it's seen a very good move from the bottoms, uh, probably created a few weeks back. And the expectation largely is that uh, uh, IT as a defensive space should start holding out. Now, within the spaces itself, uh, the larger outsources, like you mentioned, uh, LTTS, LTI, and because of the corporate adjustments uh, specifically on that front, uh, you probably expected to see more revenue and cost synergies come through. Now, the extent of slowdown will actually determine the kind of water flows that will come through in quarter four for Indian, uh, for Indian IT companies as well as far as the financial year is concerned. And therefore, I think uh, we are adopting a wait and watch at this point of time. The ERD companies, you've obviously seen huge uh, bouts of correction in stocks like Tata LXI, but there is huge potential out there within the space itself. But KBIT is one more stock where I think there have been multi billion dollar deals, uh, deals that have probably got announced. Uh, but largely, I think it's a very late stage base uh, on the O'Neill lens. Uh, valuations uh, still a little bit more on the higher side, uh, in our opinion, when you probably stack up uh, the five and the 10 year median. Uh, price earnings uh, average as well. So yeah, I think good moves on the sector as a whole, but we're still continuing and maintaining our neutral stance at this point. Okay, all right. Uh, so not entirely convinced that this is this this is the move all the way higher, uh, maybe a bumpy road ahead. Mayuresh, thank you very much. Good speaking with you. Appreciate you joining in uh, with uh, that perspective. 45 points, by the way, uh, 